Hello, this is Caleb with God's Loving Sacrifice Podcast, where we talk about the Word of God and how it helps us get through today's world. I hope you learn and grow as you listen. Hi, today we're going to talk about reaching others. I was looking at my stats for my podcast, and sometimes I look at them, I get really disappointed because I think, you know, the people that I know and the people that I'm around Don't listen to my podcast that often. But then I look out and I look where my podcast is being listened to, and it's being listened to all over the United States and in other countries. And I wonder why the people that are around me or the people that are know me well are not listening to my podcast. Then I realized that the people that are around me hear about God from me all the time. And maybe that's why they don't listen to my podcast, because I'm always telling people about it before I do it. Um, But that's okay. Because Mark 16, 15 says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And how privileged am I to be able to do my podcast and reach people all over the world? Now, if you don't have a podcast, then you may think that, well, I can't reach people all over the world. I was talking to my daughter-in-law about this and started explaining it to her. And we realized it was a pyramid scheme, but not a bad pyramid scheme. It's the way a pyramid scheme should truly work because everybody wins in the end. But if you tell someone that you meet about Jesus and they go and tell a couple of people and then those people go and tell a couple of people, pretty soon you have it reaching everywhere and you don't know that the person you talk to will not end up having told people that have told people that have told people ends up being all over the world. And that's what God wanted us to do. Because Matthew 28, 19 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I feel like I'm really lucky. I feel like I'm really privileged to be in the position I am in But anyone can do it without a podcast. You just have to reach out. You don't know where the word that you give somebody is going to end up. Romans 1, 16 and 17 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek For it is the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by faith. And that's what we're supposed to be teaching people about faith. So, no, my podcast is not a big status. It's taken me a little over two years to reach 2,500 people, and there's some podcasts that reach that in a day. But I look that that's 2,500 people that has heard the Word of God. But what we have to do is stop being afraid to tell those around us. Stop being afraid that, oh, well, I don't want to insult them, or I don't want to, I don't want them to feel like I'm pushing them, or I'm shoving it down their throats. When you're telling about God, you're not shoving it down their throats. You're doing a good deed. You're doing what God has asked you to do. You are doing what God called us to do. Don't worry about if it, if you reach Timbuktu or China. You reach the people you can reach. You tell the people that you can tell. You live your life so other people see it. John 4, 34 through 38 says, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me 
and to finish his work. Do not say there is still four months and then comes the harvest. Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are ready, white for harvest. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I send you to reap for that which you have not labored. Others have labored and you have entered into their labors. So that gives us another section of things to think about. You know, we talk about telling others about God and you're trying to reach them, but you don't always know when you tell someone about God that someone else hadn't already planted the seed. And when you tell them, it makes it true to them. So we are laborers in this harvest. And we need to make sure that we are reaching every single person that we possibly can. I've said it before, I know a lot of people think that um, you're being pushy or you're pushing it down their throats or you shouldn't say anything about it, that it's not nice, it's not loving. You're condemning them. You're not condemning them. We already know that the people we judge are Christian people, people who profess Christianity. Those are the people that we can judge. If we see them in sin, this is their go to them. People who are not in Christ are going to be judged by God and not by us. And the reason you know it is by the fruits of their works. But when we feel that we're doing the loving thing by not saying something about God, It's just the opposite. What we are doing is hurtful and shameful. How would you like to be on your way to heaven and you see somebody waiting there and they look at you and say, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I'm not going to heaven because you didn't tell me. Well, I didn't want to upset you or make you feel like I was pushing it down your throat. Push it down their throats. You don't have to push it down your throats. That wasn't what I meant, but I meant tell them. Tell them about God. Tell them about his love. Tell him about his grace. Tell them about his mercy. Romans 10, 12 through 15 says, For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all of them who call upon him. For whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Israel rejects the gospel. How then shall we call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe of him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? It is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. How will they know if you don't tell them? Did God send you to tell them? Did God lay them on your heart? Did God put you in that place? I feel like every place that I go, there is someone there that needs to hear the gospel, the good news of God's salvation, the the love of Jesus Christ. They need to hear it. They need to see it. But yet we hesitate. I do this every week when I'm not, when I can talk. And you know, you guys may feel that this is easy because I do it every week and I've been doing it for over two years. But it's not. Satan comes against me constantly. But just like I say in my Bible memorization podcast, you hide the word in your heart so you can say to Satan, it is written. 
And that's what you tell other people. It is written. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent his son not to condemn but to save. Are you telling people that? You want to know, you've heard some of the things that I've gone through. This week, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do my podcast because I had a very bad cough again. I felt like I was getting bronchitis, but I knew exactly what it was from. My stove caught on fire. But you know, Satan can give me a fire, but God contained it inside the stove. Fire department came. The house was full of smoke. It was hard for me to breathe. The house still smells like smoke a little. Had to buy a brand new stove. And since I've started this podcast, I've had to get a new hot water heater, a new refrigerator, a new dryer, a new washer, a new stove. I just ordered a new vent to go over top of the stove because that vent's so smoke-filled. Satan is always trying to throw a wrench but I'm talking, I'm not coughing. And I knew that God would allow me to do what he wanted me to do. And that's what we need to do. The next time you run into someone, ask them about their day. Ask them how they're feeling. Tell them what God did for you today. God does something for us every day, even if it's waking us up in the morning. He gave you a new day, a new day to share his love with someone else. When you wake up in the morning, are you going to share his love with someone? When you wake up in the morning, are you going to think about I don't want to embarrass them or I don't want them to make them feel bad because I'm talking about God and maybe they don't believe. Is that what you're thinking? Are you thinking, how can I further God's kingdom? Yeah, I worry about my downloads and who's listening to me. And sometimes I get my feelings hurt when it's the people that I love that don't listen to me. But then I have to remember, for every one of those 2,500 people who have listened to me, they've heard God's word. A seed was planted. They've either hopefully grown closer to God or given their lives to God or have a lot to think about. That's what I want to live my life. When I... When I reach heaven, I want God to say, well done, good, faithful servant. Not, do you see all those people there that are going to hell because you didn't tell them? Tell the people, quit being embarrassed of God. He's not embarrassed of you. Tell others, share the gospel, and know that when you give a word, to someone, that word will spread, and it will spread. It just keeps reaching out and out and out and out, but unlike a pyramid scheme, in the end, those people get everything. They get God. They get heaven. They get eternity. That's one pretty good scheme. So tell them, Pray, quit being afraid, and let's turn the people that we know towards God. The time's getting short, and I think we all know that. I don't want, I'm like, God, I don't want anyone that will miss out on being there, on being with God. Let your life shine. Let your light shine. Let your words sow seeds that will reap eternity. I pray that you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave a message by contacting me on the website at www. 
www.godslovingsacrifice.com. And while you're there, you can catch up on all the other episodes, check out the reviews, and even read the blog. You can also leave a comment on Facebook at God's Loving Sacrifice. Thank you for spending time with us today. And until next time, may God richly bless and keep you.